and more on the man from Grand Marais that was charged with murder for allegedly using a shovel and moose antler to kill a man he thought was stalking his daughter. Northern News Now's car cop heard from the Cook County Sheriff to get the latest. Cook County deputies responded to an injury report Wednesday afternoon when a neighbor reported sounds of screaming. Sheriff Pat Eliason said that when the officers arrived, they found Lawrence Scully dead. Deputies went to check on that, and in the meantime, the uh, the person who claimed to to do the the assaulting uh, came into our law enforcement center and turned himself in. That man was 27 year old Levi Axel. Authorities said that Axel, who was covered in blood and in a frenzy, claimed to hit Scully on the head about two dozen times with a shovel he found on Scully's deck, and then hit him several more times with a large moose antler to quote finish him off. He got down on his knees and he put his hands up behind his, his the back of his head and deputies uh, went out and escorted him into our booking area. After booking him, Sheriff Eliason said they immediately called the BCA for assistance with the crime scene. Restraining orders were uh, were granted and then uh, ultimately they were they were taken taken back again. Um, so yes, there there was always the that that friction was always present between the two of them. Authorities say Axel and Scully have known each other in the past. In April of 2018, Axel filed for an order of protection for two years against Scully, accusing him of stalking his then little girl at her daycare. The reason for the dismissal of the restraining order is unknown. In 1979, Scully was convicted in Canebec County for sexually assaulting a six-year-old girl, making him a registered sex offender. He was released in 1982. In the criminal complaint, Axel told authorities that he claimed to see Scully in a vehicle at locations where children were present. He believed he would reoffend. Basically, the confession that he gave immediately and, and all of the evidence matched up with the with, uh what he was telling us so there wasn't i mean there's some investigation as far as forensic evidence go but as far as you know taking statements and trying to piece things together there wasn't a whole lot of that the remainder of the case investigation and trial was passed over to the bca and the county attorney car cop northern news now thanks cara axtell is held at the cook county jailhouse his bail set at one million dollars his next appearance is uh, his next appearance in court set for april we reached out to the bca and they declined an interview